Hey, it's Brittany and Happy New Year. I'm over here at the outlets. I figured what a better video to start out with than heading to the Disney character warehouse to see what kind of goodies I can find today. Not sure if they will have any Christmas merch there or not yet, um, but hey, I'm here to check it out and see what they have to offer in 2024. I'm super excited to see what they have. Let's go check it out. Looks like the display is still closed off for the outside. Uh, doesn't look super busy, but then again, it is literally always busy. So here we go. Hello. All right. Let's start over here in the corner. I see a lot of food and wine festival stuff right when I walk in. Similar stuff. Literally, it's the stuff that was in Epcot. $7.99 for the stemless. $7.99 for the stem. And they are hand wash only. We have some Marvel toys here. Um, this is a really cute hat. I really like that hat, that's cute. Um, I'm a big fan of hats, I might hang on to this guy. Only $3.99, oh yeah, I'm hanging on to it. Uh, I see a flower and garden hat, which I feel like I've seen here before. Can I move it, what is that? A Mickey Mouse beret has Mickey on it. Only oh, 29. It doesn't have a price. I'm sure it's discounted. I see some boogie boogie ears that light up. $7.99. I think that was all that was new on the hat cart. It's right when you walk in. Let's see what else we got. All right, some shirts. Start over here. Ooh, this goofy um, all over print dress, which originally was like really expensive. 118, it's on sale for 54, which is still a little too expensive for me, but that's crazy. It's over half off. What else do we got? Anything good? What is this? Old Key West, some Marvel, Mar more Marvel stuff, lots of Loki stuff, which I like Loki a lot, so that's pretty cool. Cool Loki stuff. Um, let me see, I'm trying to find stuff that's new. Lots of toys still. We've got the punk Funko Pops <laughs> words from the new Ariel. Other stuff over here, some Strange World toys, some 2023 buses, because it's 2024 now. We have a Minnie Mouse all over print for only 14. The Epcot jackets, Fort Wilderness 50th shirt, that's cool, for only 29. I've showed you guys this before, almost bought that. Let's see what else we got. Riviera Resort stuff. Bunch of stuff. Let's see. It's in the middle aisle today. All the doggy clothes. These are really cute though. All the dog clothes and the dog collars and toys. Cute stuff though. On the middle we have some pride stitches for only 14 more of the jasmine collection it's been here for quite a while now i don't think it really did well in the park which is fine it happens Let's see what's in this middle console today some cool oh this is cute 50th anniversary pin or uh keychain for only 4.99 really cute though Some magic bands, Disney 100 magic band. What? What? Only $19.99. A pride one, a whole bunch of Disney 100. Wow, that's impressive. Let's see what else do they have. Some patches, more Halcyon stuff, which is crazy. It smells like popcorn in here. <laughs> 
a really cool patch. Let's see what else is here. Oh, these are cute. Grogu socks. Ooh, Alex and Ani stuff. Wow, the music just got really loud in here. Cool, cool. Um, these are cool though. Oh, and Bobble Bar. I don't wear bracelets, but this is a great deal on the 50th anniversary, 1999, and it looks like a jasmine necklace. But dang, if I wear bracelets, I do not. Heck, I don't even wear my magic band anymore. <laughs> I put it on my watch. It's the only thing I have my watch. <laughs> these are cute. I love the Chewbacca one. These little salt and pepper shakers? I don't know. What else? The Moana collection. Some ornaments over here. Life Day ornaments. Blankets. This is that summer collection. I wonder how much is this rate? Is this still expensive? Let me see. Mm, 24. Still too much for me. I love when they just randomly turn the music on. <laughs> it's awesome. You know. Let's see, more button downs. Ooh, cool button downs over here. This guy's nice. How much are these button downs? This one is 29. Originally 64, so it's still a pretty good price off. Well, that one's cool. This Disneyland, that's cool. 50th anniversary ones for 79, was that? Yeah, 115 originally, my goodness. I see, these are all here last time. This looks like a frozen one. Tiki room, more food and wine. Jack Skellington. Let's see what's in here. Let's see, Coco. Cute girl shorts. We're just gonna keep walking. Look at the kids stuff. Cute kids stuff always in here. <gasps> they have the Rescue Rangers Lounge Fly, no way. They have the Halloween Mini in here for only $12.99. The Hocus Pocus Binks as well as the Sanderson Sisters. Which is cute, very cool. See what's over here. They still have these guys too. The oh, I don't know how to save them. <laughs> they are $14.99 still. They have some of the Halloween crocs over there as well. I'll sneak over there when I get a, get a second to do so. Um, they also have spirit jerseys over here. I'll show you guys that also in a second. I'm trying to get back in this corner. These are Rubik's characters. So you can move them like a Rubik's cube, only $7.99. They looks like they have uh, Chip, Dale, and Daisy, which is cool. Oh, they have the little 50 of that, like, mini doll. That's cute. The Rescue Rangers Lounge Fly looks like it's $34, which is crazy. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. For only $34. I think I might be getting myself this. I love this. Oh, I can't not do it. I literally said if this goes to the outlets, I'm buying it, so. But yeah, here's the Halloween Crocs as well and some other Crocs they have still. Oh my gosh, the Rescue Rangers Lounge Fly. I'm in love. Okay, let's go see what pins they have today. Okay, three Caballero song. Okay. Similar pins to what they usually have. Let's see. Ooh, lots of pin starter sets right now. That's cool. Peter Pan, Mickey, and 2023 all on sale. Which those are great. <gasps> the Disney Afternoon. I remember that. I'd watch that as a kid. What we got over here? Hocus Pocus. Big Hocus Pocus. Food and wine. I don't see any uh, Halcyon pins. I'm glad I got mine last time we were here. This is an awesome, oh, it's a set of coasters in the like Snow White um, Huntsman box type of thing. How much are you? 24. 
really cool though. Okay, spirit jerseys. I see the Hocus Pocus one right away. Uh, the pride, there's a, the pride one. I'll make my way over there. There's just some people over there, which is fine. It happens. Uh, let's see what's over here. On this side of the store, I see Halloween merch. They've got the pillow. Uh, how much is it? Twelve ninety nine right now. Some bags, a Star Wars bag. This one's always here, I feel like, which is crazy. Um, let's see, what are these guys? I actually don't know what this plush is, but it's from the Decades Collection. Okay. Some Frozen bags. Cool, cool. They have like assorted headbands over here in the line. It's nothing that we haven't seen before. Like it's Grogu, America Chavez. All the stuff that I've shown before, and I have. <laughs> I have most of those. Let's see if we can get over to the spirit jerseys. They also still have the Tommy Hilfiger stuff here, which is crazy. And all the Haunted Mansion merch is all back there still, the old stuff, because they just came out with a new line in the park. So they cur oh. They do have the Chandrilla Star line. I'm gonna squeeze by you, thank you. The Galactic Star Cruiser stuff in here. And this cool jacket. It's a cool jacket. 29. This shirt is cool though. 19. I might be getting myself a Galactic Star Cruiser shirt. Um might only have smalls left, but I think a small would fit me. Cause that is extinct and that's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna hang on to that guy too. Lando. May the force be with you. This one's kind of cool. Princess Leia. Cool. I do like this jacket though. That's really cool. I like the red. Can't believe they have more have more of the merch here. It's really cool. May the fourth be with you down here. Uh, Black Spire Outpost. I thought my dad was looking for a Black Spire Outpost shirt a while back. In Galaxy's Edge. Couldn't really find one though, at that time. Let's see what else do they have down here. Uh, just looks like some general Star Wars pants. I'll be backed up into a corner in just a second. Okay, we're moving, we're moving. Let's go see if we can get to these spirit jerseys. No, we cannot. <laughs> uh, I tell you guys, it gets busy. It is busy. And you can't get to much. Okay, here we go. We can kind of get to them. So we have the Hocus Pocus one from Christmas. $19.99. All the Pride ones are here. That's really cool. Food and Wine Zippy. This was new this year. Um, then the Spirit Jersey from it. The one that I have. The Paradise Falls one. It looks like the Sanderson Sister one. And the 50th still, which is really cool. Very cool. Very cool. I might get the Pride one. That's pretty cool. Hang on to that guy's wheel. Let's look at these mugs. I see Mirabelle, all the stuff from Starbucks still. Anything really new over here? I see a, is this uh oh. That's really cute. Only $7.99. These are really cool. Literally, originally 27, now only 12 for the parks because they just came out. They came out with new ones. It's getting a little bit more busy in here since I've uh, arrived. It's a cool Spider-Man. That's really cool, actually. Let's see. I feel like I always get off camera and then miss a bunch of stuff. So let me look around real quick. 
Let me look around. Oh, they still have some of these guys too. And this is all reduced for Halloween clothing. It's all just been reduced, which is pretty crazy. Let's see. Oh, behind the counter stuff. I gotta show you guys behind the counter stuff. Let's see if I can do that. I don't think they have a bunch of new stuff back here, but there you go. Some art, some Encanto sets, the Figment set still, pins, a Madame Leota thing. We got some artwork over here and some magic bands as well as the bubble bar bracelets and stuff like that back here. A 20 piece flatware set, that's kind of cool. Really cool. And then up here on the counter, they have some stuff over here as well, which is really cool. Yeah, so they have a, a, a lot of good stuff. But I think that is gonna be about it for the new stuff here. Um, if I find anything else that's super new, I'll let you guys know. It looks like they have another rack of like other clothes over there. But uh, I'm gonna shop a little bit and then I'll let you guys know what I get. Okay, I just made it home from the outlets and I have really, I think I told you guys in the last video uh, or outlet video I did, I'm trying to like limit myself to only like a few items every time I go because I go so often and uh, I only have so much room in my office for <laughs> stuff. Um, plus I don't need everything. So I definitely picked up a lot more in this video like during my filming than I actually bought. I only bought two things which I actually like I'm in love with the two things I bought so I'm really excited to show you what I ended up purchasing uh, this first trip to the outlet in 2024. So let's see. So the first thing I got was these Minnie Mouse uh, hat ears. They were only how much were they? Four dollars. <laughs> Three ninety nine. Originally twenty seven dollars. So I figured that was such a steal. I could not pass these up. Plus these, I, I think, well, I think this is so cute with the little flower, but sometimes these are just really nice to have in the summertime when I just want to hide from the sunshine, but still be wearing, um, like Mickey ears, if that makes sense. I just think it's so cute. <laughs> like it's such a little vibe. I don't know. I love it. Uh, and for four bucks, you really can't, I mean, $4, I really couldn't pass that up. Um, but I thought this was really, really cute. So that was the first thing I got. And the only other thing I got, which I told you guys when I saw this at um, Disney Springs when it first came out, and maybe other videos too, that if this went to the outlet, I would buy it because I was so excited they made a lounge fly of this TV show that I watched growing up. Um, it's like a fever dream flashbacks when I see the show because I swear I like watched it like every day after school. It was just like one of those shows. Um, that you grew up with. So I got, I had had to get the Rescue Rangers Lounge Fly. Um, yeah, I loved it the moment I saw it. I almost bought it full price and then I was like, no, I have a feeling it's gonna go to the outlet. Um, not because it's not selling well, I just don't think any of the Decade collections really, really sold that well. Um, well, no, the Beauty and the Beast one, that one sold pretty well. Um, but no, I, it's just so cute. It has the whole gang on it. It's so cute. And it is a lighter color, which I usually don't like getting white or light colored lounge flies, simply because I don't want to get them dirty. But now I have a pretty decent, I mean, my other lounge flies are over here and there's more in the closet. Um, I have a pretty decent lounge fly collection now, so I don't have to use one over and over and over again if I don't want to. Um, so I'm excited to be able to use them a little less like this guy only use him on special outfits or whatever um, So then maybe I won't get it so dirty or I have time to clean it in between going to the park So I just had to get it. It's originally $78 and I got it for 35 so that's a pretty freaking great discount so I was like, yes, I have to get this. There's a couple of other things I wanted there, but just, I don't know, like I said, I'm just trying to pick a few things every time I go because I go at least once a month to make videos and they always have more merchandise. And I know as soon as I see on some of the Facebook groups I'm in that the, um, the Christmas merch has hit the outlet, I will go and make a video as soon as that happens. So there wasn't any Christmas stuff this trip out, which I was kind of sad about. They still had a little bit of the Halloween stuff, but I think I really missed the initial drop of Halloween um, at the outlets, which is fine. Sometimes I feel like 
it's either happened so fast that I don't even see it on my little Facebook groups or they just bring, they've been bringing stuff out really slowly. When we first moved down here, I swear it was like all Christmas, all Halloween for like a whole year after the, like they brought it out like as soon as it was. So maybe just, I don't know, they're just staggering the release or maybe I just missed it to be honest. But I'm really interested to see what's gonna be at the outlet from the Christmas season because I loved it all. So I might purchase a few things for our house for next Christmas season once that stuff hits the outlets. So I don't know, I, oh also I went at a really good time. I went, so it opens at 10 o'clock. I got there probably around 10.45, got front row parking and it wasn't super busy yet. Once I turned off the camera and was just shopping for me, it got crazy busy walking back out to my car. The parking lots were full. So definitely get there like around 10 o'clock, which is at least the Disney outlets opening time. Um, anytime before 1130, I think you're pretty safe crowd level wise. Um, I don't know. I'm very happy with the purchases I made, especially this guy today. I mean, the hat's awesome too, but I really am very excited to use it. Oh, look at this like little, hold on. Is this a pocket or is it just his little wing? Okay, hold on. Oh, that has the Rescue Rangers logo. See, that's just so cute. And there, I mean, there's a little side pocket, but ugh, I'm so excited to have this. Uh, this is just, yeah, this is one of those, like, I really want it. Uh, and I have a little Christmas money left over, so of course I got it. But, uh, yeah, so happy with this guy. I'm just, I don't know, it's my childhood coming back. <laughs> Nostalgia is real. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye!